What is the difference between data analyst, data scientist and data engineers? Is this the question that is running through your mind? If yes, congratulations, you have just landed the right place to find all your answers to. Hello aspirants and welcome back to your kids YouTube channel where we upload expert back curated contents for all your study abroad needs. My name is Ria and I'm a career coach with around 8 plus years of experience. Having said that, I have helped more than 10,000 plus aspirants to pursue their career dreams. Today's topic is on Janta demand or if I would also call it on your demand, the student demand. We are going to talk and learn more about what is the difference between data scientist, data analyst and a data engineer. You may have heard about data scientist, data analyst and data engineer programs. These programs are a part of the STEM programs in study abroad. Let me tell you, the moment you go and search and start googling more about these terminologies, it's just going to get more confusing for you. So, with this video, let us help you get these terminologies simplified in terms of job, what is the role and let me also give you a clear landscape and perspective about these occupations. Before we start, subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking on that bell icon so that you never miss a single update on everything study abroad. The Big Data Global Market according to the Statista report is supposed to reach around 90 billion USD by 2025. That's huge, right? This means a lot of opportunities for all of us. These were the market trends. Now let me help you understand the difference between data analyst, data scientist and data engineer in the most simplified format. Data analysts are professionals who work on structured data and also help the businesses solve the business problem by not only sorting it with the data but also doing the data representation and visualization. Now this data representation and visualization does help businesses to take a better and much clearer decision in terms of the next steps for the business. Data analysts work on tools and techniques like Power BI, Microsoft Excel and Tableau. You won't be surprised to know that a data analyst may also know a programming language called as Python or R. They would have a great knowledge in terms of database languages like MySQL. Next on the list, which is my favorite, is data scientist. Just let me tell you, data scientist is one of the most top rated and the coolest job between 2021 and 22, which was published in multiple news articles. A data scientist is a professional who is expected to work on structured and unstructured data. With that structured and unstructured data, the data scientist is supposed to clean the data, mine the data, create hypotheses by creating different machine learning modeling to have a better prediction using different tools and techniques like uh, k-means clustering, predictive analysis and machine learning different techniques. So as a data scientist, you are expected to know around 30 to 35 percent of coding with different coding languages like R or Python and in terms of statistics, you, you will be involved in using statistical tools and techniques by around 65 to 70 percent. Now, as a data scientist, you will be that one person that businesses are actually going to come running, waiting for your reports and visualization so that they can take a better business calls. So, everyone right out there, you are going to have a lot of responsibility on your shoulder if you're planning to be a data scientist. Last but not the least on the list is data engineer. As a data engineer, your core responsibility is to manage that huge chunk of data which is coming in all possible format. It can be structured, it can be unstructured, but you are going to be that one person that every organization would want to have. You are that sole person responsible to create different data pipelines, ensure that your data team has clean and clearer and better formatted data. So you have a lot of job to do for sure. One of the most common skills that a data engineer will have is Hadoop. Apache and they may also know certain programming languages like R or Python. Now next on line is the roles and responsibilities about data analyst, data scientist and data engineer. To start first, I would like to talk about data analyst. As a data analyst, you are going to be responsible to be speaking and working majorly on the structured data, which means you're going to clean the data. You're expected to visualize the data for a better business understanding with a proper reporting format. Second, as I mentioned earlier, my very, very favorite data scientist. As a data scientist, you will be responsible to create different machine learning or predictive modeling 
where you are going to observe the different unseen trends and patterns help the businesses to get a proper visualized report of the unstructured and structured data so that they can take the next call and the report makes more sense for them to understand what is a better decision to make for the futuristic goals one of the key responsibility that you will always have as a data scientist is the good of both the worlds you are definitely a techie but communication is not something that is not expected that's why most of the data scientists are also expected to talk about their predictive modeling and their research their visualization in a more storytelling manner data scientists are smart communicators next on the list is data engineer as a data engineer you will be responsible to collect a lot of data coming in all different formats whether it's structured unstructured your major responsibility will be to ensure that there are proper data pipelines and a great flow of data for all the teams working on the same the next step is to understand the kind of skill sets you require for becoming a data analyst a data scientist and a data engineer to start with let me give you a clear five points in terms of what do you really need to be and what kind of skill set would you require to be a data analyst if you really want to go about analyzing a lot of data you must and should be fluent and very well hands on with microsoft excel the hands on experience in writing sql queries is one of the most essential thing data analyst are supposed to know a little bit of programming language knowledge like r and python there are different tools that are used for data visualization like tableau and power bi having a clear and complete understanding and a little bit of expertise in the kind of domain that you're going to be working because after all you're the one who's going to visualize the reports and solve the business problem using the data but if you do not have enough knowledge in terms of what field or domain are you really working it may not go hand in hand Next on the list is data engineers. As a data engineer, you would be expected to know complete hands-on on SQL and MongoDB. The second bit is where you must and should know is Hadoop and Apache. As a data engineer, these are the elements and skill set that you're expected to know by the market. The last on the list, but not the least, my favorite data scientist. If you want to be a data scientist, these are the must-have skills. that you must look for one is you must be really good and decent with programming languages like r and python you must and should have a sound knowledge in statistical concepts like k means clustering a uh, predictive analysis you would also be expected to create different machine learning models which will help the businesses to have a clearer idea with the data that you have derived you would be responsible to visualize the data and yes don't forget you must and should visualize your data along with a better storytelling component in the same money is my honey yes most of us when we work when we have skills we definitely want to get well paid for that skills am i right so let me take you to make you understand what are the three different salary range if you were to work in india or if you were to work in us or anywhere abroad for these three areas if you're working as a data analyst in india you can expect a salary of around 7 lakh per annum if you're working as a data analyst in usa you can expect a salary of around 70000 usd if you are working as a data scientist with the right skills in your pocket your employer would be very happy to pay you somewhere around 10 lakh per annum in us you can expect a salary of around 170000 usd If you're working as a data engineer in India, you can expect a salary of around 9 lakh per annum. If you're a data engineer working in the USA, you can approximately expect a salary of around 125,000 USD. Now, the salaries that I just happened to share in this entire video are completely based on different types of research that have been done, and this may vary according to the skills that you have, the companies that you join, the industries that you work, and the geographies as well. Now let me give you a very simplified opinion of what I really think about the data field. If you are really planning to have a bright future, data field is the right way to go about it. If you are passionate about coding, passionate about uh, statistics and you surely want to work and you know have a game flow with the data, you may be entering the right field for sure. As a data field, I think it would be biased to talk about which field is better. But as I have been mentioning about my favorite field as data scientist, I see this field has picked up a great trend in last five years. I would suggest you to pick up that field for one core reason: you will be seeing the world of both, even a data analyst, a data engineer. Because as a scientist, you are supposed to work on huge amount of data, 
create different patterns, work on multiple variations of data and also learn how you can manage huge data and give a great output. So my take on this is look forward for a data scientist field as far as possible. If not, the other fields are also great and thriving ones. If you like this video, go ahead and give us a big thumbs up and do not forget to share it with your friends and family. If you have any kind of queries or questions that you would want to ask us, feel free to do that in our comment section.